Yo, what's going on fam? Ruslan Saibov here and today we are going to talk about five things to focus on when you try to increase your muscle up reps. All right, it's been a while since my last tutorial over here, but I haven't been slacking so that you know because uh, I'm working on my new ebook, which is going to be the complete calisthenics guide, skills, everything, endurance, strength, street lifting, programming. The most important part of the ebook is going to be how to create your own workout program. All right, but I will keep you guys updated. If you if you don't follow me on Instagram, please go and follow. I'll I will po I will be keep posting uh, everything about everything <laughs> yeah so uh let's talk about those five things first thing that we need to focus the most i would say is the technique because you can have the strength you, have, you can have endurance but if you don't have the right technique and you don't work on that, you're not gonna move. You're not gonna increase your reps. So what I'm talking about, I'm talking about high pull-up, low bar dip, and muscle up transition hold. High pull-up video, I have already done it on my YouTube over here. Low bar dip and the muscle up transition hold, we can, you can check in the slow, no falls grip muscle up tutorial. So those things, are the three compound of the muscle up. So first we need to properly pull, then we gotta properly switch and properly push. All right, so high pull up, muscle up transition hold, low bar dip. The second thing is doing muscle ups under fatigue. Most people make the mistake when trying muscle up, when trying to do the muscle up only when they are fresh. All right. Well, you will, your body will just know how to do the muscle up when you're fresh, but when you're under fatigue, for example, in a routine when you're supposed to do the muscle up in the end, your body will just tell it will just tell you, "Bro, I can't." All right. I think we all faced this when we we're just tired. We cannot do the muscle up, and our body is just not prepared for such work. So, what we need to do? We need to do routines that with, with the muscle up in the end or in the middle. The goal is to get tired a little bit before completing those muscle ups. All right, so you will be improving better under fatigue. Okay. The third thing is probably the most obvious one is just improving your strength and endurance in pull and push. Since the muscle up is a compound exercise, we need to focus on, you know, compound, uh, um, I mean, on the parts, on each part of this compound movement. Just like I tell, told you in the first thing, which was uh, the technique, we need to work on the low bar dip, on the muscle up transition, and the high pull up. So, in order to be able, in order to let your body prepare to complete more muscle ups, we need to just work on dips for reps obviously and pull-ups and push-ups pretty much everything you, you even need to strengthen your core so you are so your core is more um conscious about how to act and how to keep your body aligned you know what i mean so uh besides high volume to you know to to um prepare your body to complete more reps of, of course um Besides that, we need to obviously work with the weight in order to achieve the better motor act activation of your, of your muscles, right? Of your nerve, nervous system and everything, okay? So we need to, there is no black and white in training, as I keep saying. There is no like, endurance will bring me there and strength will bring me there. There is no endurance without strength and there is no strength without endurance, all right? So, we need to work with the weight, we need to work with everything. Keep an eye on every single aspect of your training. We cannot just keep, keep you know, the, the horses, they, 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 they look like this, right? They don't see what's going on. Don't be like the horse, all right? 
work on weighted, work on endurance, work on everything. All right, so this is what you're supposed to do. The fourth thing to do is the superset. Supersets are like, it's the combination of everything I've just said. Because in supersets, I mean the, the, the sets without leaving the bar, my signature sets, let's say. When you do a couple of pull-ups, then you do the muscle-up, then you do the bar dip, then you do holds, then you do again the muscle-up and stuff like that. Compound sets without leaving the bar are going to give you the muscle-up under fatigue, is going to give you the pull and push strengthening, and it also it is, it is also going to give you the total volume of the workout, which is going to be the fifth part of this video, but let's let's leave it for the for the for the end. So what I'm trying to say, do the muscle ups in any possible way without leaving the bar. So it can be just one pull up, one one muscle up, one bar dip for rounds, as many as you can without leaving the bar. Or just do five pull ups and then the muscle up after that. You know what I mean? So obviously I'm not gonna say name like 1000 ways of doing it because it would just take a week a week or something or longer so do those sets obviously now someone will ask is gonna ask um what if i cannot do those sets well use the band don't be afraid to be the beginner if you're able to do five muscles but you're not able to complete even a single one after five pull-ups do five pull-ups then put your feet into the band, do the muscle up, all right? Don't, don't neglect this part. Even the kipping muscle ups or jumping muscle ups, you know what I mean? You can do a few sets of pull ups and then just do the muscle up with the band or jumping muscle up. You know, it will still have an impact. Doing something that um, mirrors the regular muscle up, mirrors, I mean, the easier reg regressions, progressions and stuff. Um, it's going to, it, it's just better than not doing anything. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people be like, all right, I'm not able to complete this set, so I'm not doing it. Nah, man, cut this crap off because you can do this set, but just with an assistance or do five pull-ups and then ask a friend to help you lift you up you know what i mean all right and the last the fifth point of what we need to focus on is total volume i have mentioned it before but what i mean set the number of muscle ups that you need to complete in a day in a week in a month and just go for it the more it's gonna it's gonna sound like you know cliche or something but the more you do something the more you practice it the better you become at it you know what i mean so total volume is going to obviously give you everything it's gonna improve your everything so i don't even have to you know explain much here just do a lot of muscle ups but we need to remember that don't reach the point when you feel pain within within your elbows or whatever you know what i mean Keep it, okay, keep it regular, keep it normal, okay? Don't push, don't rush. If I said, said the, the, you know, a certain, certain number of volume, it doesn't mean that you need to complete 1,000 muscle ups in one day, obviously. But, but what I mean by that is just that if your max reps, let's say five, set 30 reps during the day, as your goal or three days a week you know it, it's I cannot really you know it's not specific because you know let me tell you something a lot of people be asking the same question like I do five muscle ups and I do 10 dips and I do 15 pull ups is it is it enough for this or that or I do 10 sets of five pull ups is it okay Bro, it can be okay, it cannot be okay at the same time because those questions, they don't have any foundation, any, you know, any basement, if I can name it so. You know, I, me as a coach, I cannot give you an answer. 
unless I want to lie to you, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, everyone is different and you just need to listen to your body. You need to, you know, um, pay attention how your body reacts to this load, to this volume, to that intensity and so on. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's very individual. And everything, everything what I say in my videos is like, there is no black and white, okay? Just take the best and, you know, test it, then analyze it, then retest it, then again analyze it, then optimize it, and then apply, okay? So this is the goal, all right? So I hope you liked it. Obviously, it's not the training program or it's, it's, it's not the training program nor it's the specific detailed explanation. It's just some ideas that you can apply, that you can incorporate in your training. Okay, so it was Ruslan Saibov. Much love, pleasure was mine. I hope pleasure with yours, everyone's. <laughs> All right, I'm out. I'm out.